Hello and welcome to episode 30 of Amusement Worldwide. Well, this week we're cutting straight to Europe. We're cutting to Port Ventura, we're cutting to Salu in Spain. Next year, 10 years after the Silver Star in Europa Park was built, 10 years after it was built, the record for Europe's tallest coaster will finally be broken in Salu, Spain, from Port Ventura with their new B&M. B&Ms never go wrong. That's a true fact. The only thing is that it's going to be behind Dragon Khan. This is the only thing that kind of surprised me. Here's some pictures of it. Here's the uh, name of it. It's going to be just under 250 foot tall with a 256 foot drop. Maximum speed of 83 miles per hour, which is pretty cool. It'll be an icy blue in the picturesque Dragon Khan right in front of it. Now we're going to cut to the second thing this week Merlin. Taking over the globe, Merlin taking over the globe. Nick Varney's hands are like that. See Mr. Rex at the start of Streets of Rage 2, where he's like that over the town. That's Nick Varney. That's Nick Varney over the globe because now they've taken Cypress Gardens, where the next storm surge from, so I'd buy the rest of the park as well. Land Florida has opened its gates to the public. I'm sure if you look online, you'll be able to see many a video about them opening on October 15th. Seems an odd time of the year to open, but hey, it's Nick Varney and it's transformed into Legoland. Some of the pictures I've seen are quite good actually. And it's the sixth Lego themed park to open since 19... diggity 8, 1968. There you go. Roller coasters, three of which are re-themes, which is the easiest thing to do in that location. The highlight being the Miniland USA area, complete with the White House and other famous American landmarks. Is it better than Main Street USA? Maybe, because it's not Disney, and Disney are kind of childish these days. Oh. Finish off with, I've got some swarm shots for you, but you've probably seen loads of them already, to be honest. I don't claim to be the first to get it to you, but I claim to get it to you nonetheless. Uh, some swarm shots there. Nemesis, what lies beneath? We all know it. We all know it's going to be a drop tower. We all know it's going to be a lot like the one at Madame at Two Swords Dungeons. Uh, question for next week. What do you think about Halloween so far? Have you been to Scarefest? Have you been to Fright Nights? Have you been to Hocus? Pocus? At Chessington. Have you been to any of these? Have you been to all of these? Do you compare them to each other? Uh, I did the road trip last week, went to all three. Bit disappointed, Drake Man, I don't do anything for Halloween, but there you go. My favourite maze of all, the curse. I like the mist, I like the smoke, I like the coloured light coming in. From the kids running out at the start when our group got told you're not allowed to turn back, as soon as he said that, the kids from the previous group ran out the entrance. All the way from that to the guy at the back of our group at the end hitting one of the actors. Even though he warned them before he went in, he was going to hit them. Uh, they were like, no mate, just go in anyway. So, from that to that, it was a good maze. I quite liked it. Although if I was at the front, I wouldn't know where the hell I was going. We went out the fire exit once. Um, again on the crypt, I got a photo in the background there. The crypt was actually quite good for Chessington. 3-8 was shit because <laughs> you had to go with an actor. The actor was good, don't get me wrong. It wasn't like the haunting at Drayton Manor, where it's like, stand in the middle of the room, please. It was an actual guy who had the kit on and everything. And the first time I went in the crypt, everyone else in the group went out at the halfway stage. So that is the end of this week's episode. Comment below, as always. And I'll see you next week with your answers. Captain Charisma, Y2J, Cavstar, TPJ, AT, Jakey, RCT3, lad, 1303. The Tech Reviewer UK. Sam Brook, to a lesser degree. He doesn't really watch my videos. You are all competing this week for Comment of the Week. If you get Comment of the Week next week, you may just feel complete. So I'll see you next week, everybody. This episode's not been that great, but it's been here nonetheless. I'll see you next week. Thanks for watching. See you next week. Amusement Worldwide. Watch it or don't bother. That's the rule.